हेलो स्टूडेंट्स होप यू आर फाइन एंड डूइंग वेल एट योर होम एज यू नो वी हैव स्टार्टेड आर चैप्टर गॉस थ्योरम एंड द टॉपिक विच वी आर गोइंग टू डू टुडे इज टू डिड्यूस कूलम्स लॉ फ्रॉम गॉस थ्योरम इन दिस डेरिवेशन वी विल प्रूव द कूलम्स लॉ विद द हेल्प ऑफ गॉस थ्योरम सो लेट स्टार्ट वट वी नीड टू डू टू प्रूव द सेम आई हैव अ गशियन सफियर in which i have enclosed a charge that is my positive charge and we know that due to the charge there will be the generation of electric field just see this thing in this diagram what i have done different i have brought a new charge that is plus q2 also and this char because of this charge force will be exerted on this though this will be the repulsive force and as this is also the positive charge so the direction of electric field will be radially outward i have taken this small portion of this surface and named as ds the distance from the center of the sphere to the point where i have taken another charge is r that the distance i have taken as r so just let's start what i have taken consider that two point charges q1 and q2 are placed at points these at points a and b the force experienced by the point charge q2 now this charge will experience a force by the point charge q2 due to the electric field earlier uh, sorry initially i have placed charge q1 due to this charge electric field is generating and i have placed another charge q2 also as this charge is creating electric field so this charge will experience force repulsive force and that force i can write as q2e just remember this thing beta this charge is experiencing a force due to this due to q1 so i can write f as equals to q2 into e that is my first equation now according to gauss theorem we know that whenever charge is placed in the surface there will be the generation of electric field lines and number of electric field lines passing through the surface is known as the electric flux so as per the gauss theorem the total electric flux through the spherical gaussian surface is given by e vector dot ds vector is equals to q1 upon epsilon not why i have taken q1 for electric flux because my q1 charge is enclosed in the surface not q2 so due to q1 i will have the electric flux so i have written the same now you can see this thing that gaussian surface i have taken as a sphere and the uh, the area surface area for the sphere if i want to calculate the total surface of this sphere this will be 4 pi r square same i have taken the integration of this ds means total surface area will be equals to 4 pi r square and this i have already done that e vector dot ds is equal to q upon epsilon not so in place of that i can write q1 epsilon not and e multiply by 4 pi r square same equation i have done over here from this i have just substituted the value in place of ds otherwise same as it is i have written as above now you can see this thing as i need to find the i need to prove the coulomb's law and we know that coulomb's law is equals to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon into q1 q2 upon r square so what i'll do firstly i will take the value of e इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड विल भी इक्वल टू क्यू अपॉन एफ साल इन एट फोर पाई उधर चला जाएगा इट विल भी ईज इक्वल टू क्यू वन अपॉन फोर पाई एफ साल इन आर स्क्वे नाउ वी नो दैट वी हैव टू चार्जेस इफ वी हैव टू चार्जेस ऑब्वियसली फोर्स विल कम इन टू प्ले फोर्स उस तरी उस लाइक उसमें काम करेगी ऑब्वियसली फोर्स विल एक्ट एज वी हैव टू चार्जेस सो Uh, we know the formula for force also earlier also we have written that is f is equal to q2e 
in the place of e i have substituted the whole value that is my q1 upon 4 pi epsilon into r square and other thing q2 i have from the equation 1 so i have this equation that is my coulomb's law so it is a mathematical form of coulomb's law which i have proved by taking the help of gauss theorem so this is all about the derivation of deduction of coulomb's law from the gauss theorem hope you understood whole lecture in the next video we will discuss its further application still if you will have any kind of query you can ask through online session thank you have a nice day